Welcome to the vlog, featuring another one of me and Clara's Let's Just Book It travel adventures. This time we're off to Italy, in particular Ischia. We took the plane from Paris all the way to Naples. The first thing we noticed was the white and blue everywhere. The colours of the city hung from every balcony, because recently the football team Napoli had just won the Serie A after 33 years. We had been really looking forward to a Donato sandwich, but unfortunately the line was all the way around the corner, so we couldn't hear the famous Comolica o Senza before our ferry left. We got the ferry from the port of Naples to Ischia. It was only about an hour and a half, but it felt a lot longer because I was pretty much seasick during the whole time. We finally arrived in Fordio, which is the smallest of the two ports in Ischia, and we walked our Airbnb. We had a pretty disturbing figurine outside. The place was cute though. Here's where we had our breakfast every morning. Here's a little tour. This was the kitchen and the main area. We had one bed over there. That was the bathroom and then we had the final bedroom over here. Napoli. Your plan. Do you have to put smoking on YouTube? Yeah, it's true, not like anybody's paying me. <laughs> After watching the sunset last night, we started off the next day bright and early with a walk to one of Fodio's main churches. We then proceeded to complete our number one ritual, morning coffee. That day, we also took the bus to Ischia Porto, the main part of the island, to see the sights and continue exploring. This was my current competition. After walking around the port, our next goal was to visit the Aragonese Castle, which is Ischia's number one tourist attraction. It stands on its own little island and it was conquered by Alfonso I of Aragon in the 15th century. Simpler times I never cried when summer died. Hello. Let's go, grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice, take it for a walk. After walking around all day through ruins and castles, all we wanted was to have an April spritz in the sun by the sea. I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign, and we don't need to do something you don't really like. I just want to spend some quality time, some quality time, but no one ever really gets it. I swear I got the best intentions, cause I'm not really good at saying your words, but we can Find a way to make it work What's your favorite kind of movie? 
It doesn't really matter to me Dad. It's sometimes to do whatever there. is the mood Just tell me what I can do to make you mine Baby, I've been trying to love you the way I do best So would you just take my hand We took the same route to a slightly different place To watch the sunset and finish off a really great day I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time You can tell me how your day went And I will listen to the days end We could grab a dinner at a mom and pop Spin a while, it's at a five star spot. It doesn't matter. New day, a new coffee shop. It, the weather was kind of rainy, but we were not going to let that ruin our plans. So we packed our bags and headed off for a hike around the island. Tell me what I can try to love you the way you do best. Can I just take your hand? Let's go Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take a full walk while we talk about our lives I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need another During our walk, we stumbled across an outdoor church Where the Madonna di Zaro was said to have appeared The whole place had a really special feeling about it We tried to find a nearby beach to chill for the rest of the afternoon, but they were all private, so we had to just keep walking around the island. And eventually, we arrived in a new commune, La Guamena. La Guamena. Yeah. There's no actual lake in there. As experienced travellers, we never go anywhere without a sandwich. So that day, as the skies cleared up, we ate our sandwiches on the board and town. We only buy the essentials. The next day was Clara's 21st birthday, so I decided to celebrate by wearing my best outfit. I was basically walking around in a glorified garbage bag because again it was raining so I had to buy a 5 euro poncho To mark the occasion we visited one of the most beautiful gardens in Europe Giardini La Mortela which was built by the Englishman William Walton in the 20th yeah. century mm, okay. Yeah you know what it is don't trip. Gotta thank Coda for the hit. Hobby to the hobby to legit. Now we body every bitch. Still a bougie bitch talking that. Bougie, bougie, bougie. So why you throwing shade on me? Cause I just do my thing low key. But naked while I'm doing Tai Chi. Never met a motherfucker like me. Yeah, man, what's up? We don't really got no personal power. Shut up, fuck me up. Rose gold for me, so hoes. With my 
chicos like Topo Say, won't you kick it with some logos, babe? About to win it on this side We don't fuck with that side Pussy got a rap by Boy, that shit blessed Get the peace for the black guy Not a contest Put the vibes high Not a pair of shoe vests I'm a free fall You could call it like a rest Hey, million dollar bet I'ma bet it all on the music No sweat On guard if you're ready for the action Lot of y'all the folks I keep yapping I be tapped in I'ma get cracking See my old homie say What's happening? See I up What's happening? Oh, you good, man? I holla back then. We don't really got no crystal ball. For a special birthday lunch, we went to El Ristorante de Usantuno, which had amazing reviews online. It's safe to say we were not disappointed. The place was stunning, and the pasta is probably still the best I've ever had. Once again, the rain ruined our beach plans, so we went to go get ice cream to help make ourselves feel better. On this trip, I also discovered that my shoes had a hole in the heel. So in order to keep my feet dry, I had to walk on my tippy toes basically at all times. And this was Clara's very concerned look after seeing me climb up the stairs on my tippy toes and with only one hand to capture the view. We had our final coffee on the last morning in what was probably my favorite of all the places we tried. So that was kind of annoying, but it was still cute. We took the ferry back to Naples, and somehow this time I was even more seasick, so the trip was an actual health win. Despite this, the overall journey was incredible. We had an amazing time and an amazing 21st birthday. Happy birthday, Clara. Till next time.